Hey, are you looking for a program to help stay organized, focused, and manage your time? Well, yeah, aren't we all? Sansama might be the program that can help you do all of that and more. And in this video, I'm going to show you the basics so you can see if this is the right tool for you. So, hi, I'm Adam with Productivity Academy. With that out of the way, let's uh, get going. I was contacted a few months back uh, to look at the app. And honestly, the features and the integration list caught my eye right away in spite of the fact that I was already using an app uh, for two-way sync with my Google Calendar, uh, Focuster, great app. Um, so something I wanted to talk about was, again, the integrations. And so I'm looking at the list right now as it stands, and I believe there's more than this, but I know there's Todoist, ClickUp, uh, Trello, Asana, Notion, uh, looks like GitHub, Gmail, Outlook, Slack, a bunch of others. Um, and right away, seeing that and knowing that they were uh, tight integrations into this uh, is what, again, caught my eye and made me really want to get into this. Um, and one of the things I really like about this, which might be a plus or minus, depending on how you view having help with your planning or if you have kind of your own thing to do is routines, right? Kind of having it uh, guide you along and really plan out your day. I think this can be super powerful for some people. But again, it might not be for everybody. So we're going to talk about that and show a little bit more. Also, of course, the ability to integrate many tools and pick and choose what is the most important and have in front of you is really great, again, in my opinion. So let's just jump into it so I can show you what this is all about. All right, the first stop here is showing what they show. And let's look at Todoist. Um, I like this because they have done a really good job of explaining this, but I also want to show what it looks like for somebody, you know, hopping in and me kind of setting things up and what that looks like. But this is important. This isn't just like, oh, you, you know, connect to Todoist and then all of your stuff just gets grabbed in. And let's say you connect Slack and Todoist and ClickUp and all of a sudden you're overwhelmed. Um, what you can do is actually pull to do as task into your daily plan. So it's just connected and then you get to say, hey, I, I want to work on this. I want to work on that. Um, right. You don't have to just be inundated with everything that's in Todoist, which there's been some apps I've seen in the past where that's kind of the case. It's an integration in the sense that it just pulls it, everything in, um, which can be a real pain in the butt. So here it shows it right. You can just click and drag and pick out the Todoist tasks you want um, and then blocking things off by putting that into your calendar um, and then a two way sync. Right. So changes are automatically synced back. So really, really cool. So. Now I'm going to log in and uh, we'll go from there. Okay, now that we're logged in, I'm not going to go through the setup stuff. You know, you can connect accounts. All of that is very simple, very straightforward. They walk you through a lot of a lot of this about what you want to do, how you want this to go. But I want to get into it and show you kind of what this looks like. So getting started, you know, what do you want to get done today? So this is kind of nice. You can, you know, fill in calendar events. By default, it's got them on. Um, and just a note, so example, I can... Uh, click on this. So I needed to go get a, a dash cam installed. And if I delete this, right, if I delete this, this will delete it from, um, from my calendar as well. All right. So if I went over there, clicked on that. So just something to be aware of, but I find that to be great. You know, if you maybe did something or you want to clear out some room, um, you can really take care of everything right there. And if we, maybe we didn't want uh, to have something in here, we could, you know, get rid of it have it not be there. Okay, so let's go. Whoops. There we go. Let's go uh, next and not go backwards. And then what can wait, right? So if we had a bunch of tasks um, that we want to or we want to schedule, we can move things back. Okay, so for example, we could add a task by clicking on the button here. If you had stuff um, that needed to get done, then, you know, you can move stuff around super easy. And I find this important too. This is great. And a lot of us probably already do some sort of daily review. But if you find yourself either you're you're not satisfied with yours, you maybe need to, to you know, have something a little bit more guiding, this can be super, super helpful. Um, all right. So it says unpredictable workload, add time estimates, right? Super helpful stuff. I really like this. Um, but I'm just going to go ahead, go to next. Let's finalize the plan and uh, look at adding some tasks. So maybe we can add something here. If you wanted to manually add something, we could do that. Um, we could add the date, say, yep, that's definitely today. Let's add a time. It's going to take me 30 minutes. Um, okay. And then say, okay, looks good. Now let's go. We could uh, pop this into Slack if you want to. I'm more of a, hey, I kind of want to keep this uh, for myself, but obstacles my way. I also like this. Again, what's going to get to me? Um, let's see, uh, phone on the desk. 
might bug me, um, toss it in the kitchen. And uh, might get hungry, so schedule a, we'll go with an alarm in uh, 90 minutes to take a break and get a snack. Okay, hopefully you have some more important uh, obstacles in your way, but I find this to be uh, a good reminder too, like looking around, I'm literally looking at my desk, had my phone as I was looking some stuff up earlier, and I should definitely get it off of uh, the desk moving forward. So let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so now you can see what's going on over here. We can see everything, and on the right side, we see different things that we've connected up. Right now I'm showing the calendar. If we click on Todoist, We've got that, and I could click and drag that over, right? Um, we could go over to um, Gmail, which would be really interesting. Um, so I've got the, my Productivity Academy email set up, and I did a search for podcast, and it puts it live, uh, or rather it filters it down. So I could say, oh, maybe um, oh, there's a short form out, something about a podcast. I want to do that tomorrow when I've got some time. And then for myself, like I use ClickUp as my project management tool for a lot of stuff with my team. Um, maybe I want to add a couple of these, you know, on the weekend. Um, I just pulled up the personal stuff. I'm not going to share all of my team's work. And we just say like, oh, okay, I'm going to blow the leaves out of the gutter and I need to um, maybe, uh, yeah, we're going to get a new roof on Sunday. Let's do that. That sounds fun. <laughs> but you can see how easy this is. So we can click and drag from all of this different stuff. Um, and if things get done, let's say um, we do that, that is done and that will sync back, right? Super, super helpful. All right, and if you want, you can head over uh, to calendar and this is just a great, I find way to plan stuff out. If you're using multiple tools, this can be a great way uh, to, to be consolidated. I'm barely scratching the surface here. A lot of what you can do, obviously there's different automations, all of that you can do. For myself, I just find this super helpful to have the planning, uh, to have kind of the guided routine for the day, and then to be able to integrate all of these tools and truly like have this as a control center so you wouldn't have to be going back and forth into all of these tons of apps. The time saving alone is something to consider on that, the context switching, if you will. You know, you think about it, even if you're really good and it just takes you, you know, maybe you have bookmarks or you have certain things open, just that 30 seconds, maybe a minute, like if you're going into ClickUp and then you've got to go to the right place and, you know, if you don't have a direct link or you got to wait for it to load, that stuff adds up, right? And so if you're a normal human being and you're dealing with dozens of tasks per day or back and forth, then, you know, you're talking about dozens of minutes at the minimum, right? So maybe 30 minutes, maybe an hour, you're wasting just context switching, switching things around. So that's another area where I see these types of tools and specifically since I'm being really, really helpful uh, for you to save time and keep all of your, your thoughts and context in one place. So you can also maintain kind of an overview of what's going on and be realistic uh, about the time planning. I touched on this at the very beginning about using an, an app that does a two-way sync to the calendar. I find that that can be extremely helpful uh, for you to be more realistic. And over time, you become much better about it. If you start assigning a time to your uh, to your tasks, instead of just saying, I'm gonna do these 100 things, right? Well, the first thing you can do is prioritize and be realistic, but then to start assigning times. Uh, and that really helps over time, you'll become more and more accurate. You know, hey, I've got to write an email, um, you know, for a business about a promotion coming up. Okay, well, how long does that take? What's involved? Is there anyone else involved in it? So not only coming up with the process, uh, but then assigning kind of a time to it and looking at your calendar. Do you have that 30 minutes? Do you have that hour? If not, you know, maybe you need to move some things around and reprioritize. So again, I highly suggest checking this out. If you use more than one or two of these apps that they're integrated with, definitely worth checking out. They have a great onboarding system for getting you set up and getting to use it. And like I said, I really, really like uh, the daily routine and helping you get going, get things set up uh, and get an estimate and get to work. So again, check it out. Uh, link is down there in the description. Uh, give it a try and let me know what you think.